Joining us now is Chairman Nigerian Union of Teachers, Lagos State Chapter, Adedui Additional. Good morning. Thank you for joining us on Thank TBC you very Breakfast. Much. Good morning. All right, let's quickly look at how critical or important it is for a child to have quality primary education. Thank you very much. The basis of education in life is primary education. That is the foundation. Mm. You see, when the foundation is wombo, the, 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 the whole structure will crumble. So it is very, very important for all us hungry to put hands on deck to make sure that uh, primary education is solidly built and you, you get most of the students back into the school, those who are out of the street. Uh, one of the problems we are having about the people, people normally compare the previous years yes. with the present day. Mm. But are we doing what they were doing in those previous years? What were they doing at those, those times? Fine, very well. Uh, number one, let's start from the training. Because teaching now has been made all commerce. But in those days, when you see the training, those people went to grade three, grade two, the teacher the college. Yeah, the teacher, they had been grade two, teacher's college, to the teacher grade one, which is now called National Certificate in Education, NCE, the form of Hindu. Even at the primary sector, you have those t teachers of primary and, and, and those old ones that were trained at the teacher's grade two. You see the quality that they addition out. Because uh, we have been saying it, we have been advocating it, times that number, that it's not enough for you to have gone to school, but what of the pedagogical aspect mm. of teaching? You cannot just say you have BSc first class in mathematics. It's not enough for you to come to the classroom and teach because of the methodology, the application. You are going to, you are going to inject in putting those students in the right so, perspective. So why do we have this situation? Because uh, we, we've had complaints time and time again that um, there are not enough teachers, even those coming out of the university. In fact, the death of teachers in the classroom is second to none. You see most of our primary school or the basic education level, you find out that, that uh, most of the, the, those schools, you have about uh, 400, Students. 600, uh, yeah, you to, to, to just about uh, six, five teachers. Perhaps that's why we, uh, a lot of schools employ s graduates who are not teachers. No, it's wrong. Because if you are not a lawyer, you cannot go to court and practice. If okay. you are not a doctor, you, you, you cannot, cannot prescribe. Hmm. And that uh, is where your to, union is supposed to come in yeah. to join yeah, that's, the, that's where we, we came in on the issue. And that is it's mandatory now that those people that are not having teaching qualification, those who, even if you have teaching qualification, you, you, it's need for you now to prescribe passed a prescribed examination by the Teachers Regional Council of Nigeria. You say it's, it's, it's compulsory, is it for both private and yeah, Both private and because and those school. children in private school, they are Nigerian child or Nigerian children. But do, do you, how have it, has it been working with both private and public the, uh, the public schools to achieve this? Because you need data to, it, to it, achieve it's, this. It's a law of the land. Mm. If you want to establish school, we have prescribed laws that you need to follow. If you want to deviate from that law, then definitely you are running foul of the law and the law must take its course. Okay. So the, 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 even the, the private school owner now, they too, because of the shift labor, that's one of those things that's affecting mm -hmm. primary, uh, private schools. Government is not employing. The time lag between the employment, of, uh, that is the problem of uh, the public sector. In the private sector, because of uh, they want to minimize cost and maximize profit, you just see them to go and put one secondary school to deliver. To the, but all those things, what are the by consequences? December this year, must end. What are the consequences if uh, these standards are not met, especially for teachers? The, 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 then the, 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 in public school, yes. the, there's no way they will not comply. Because it's government, it is law from the government. And uh, for but for the private school, if, because by the time, by January 1st next year, or when, or when we resume for the, first, uh, for the second term next year, the, the task force will be going around to check oh. in, in each school. They are this thing, they are, they are, they are, they, and they ask them to, already they've asked 
the in, for instance in Lagos State, Minister of Education have asked them to submit their okay. self the qualification and everything and the and the, the, the license and practicing number. Hmm. All right. All right. We'll leave the discussion at this point. Are they doing addition or thank you for your time on thank TBC you very Breakfast? Much. Joining us now is Chairman, Nigerian Union of Teachers, Lagos State Chapter, Adedoin Adeshina. Good morning. Good Thank morning. you for joining us on Good TBC morning. Breakfast. Now, it is reported that uh, over 17 million children are out of school in Nigeria. And um, when we say children are the leaders of tomorrow and they have this kind of shaky foundation based on this report, what are the implications to the future? As of, a, of our country as a whole. Thank you very much. If it is not properly checked, the future is bleak. Mm. Because if you become garbage in, garbage down. You just find out that uh, you have uh, the president that cannot even read and write with that situation. But we, the, the, the government needs to prioritize its needs. We have been saying this same time with Anubha, a different for her, that there is need for the government to pay more attention to the budgetary allocation education. Like this current year, the federal government uh, uh, budget uh, allocation for education is just 7.5 percent. Single digit, it's not even up to 10 percent. And the UNESCO standard is between 16 and 26 percent. So. There is need for serious sensitization and enlightenment. Well, Involvement how, of the How has your uh, union engaged government, especially with regards to this budgetary allocation, to ensure that it is improved upon? It, it, we have been, it, every year in, year out, we have been submitting memoranda to the, to the government. But it's like dialogue, dialogue with the deaf. Hmm, really? Yes. Because if you, if, you, uh, if you talk too much, when you advocate too much, they may be thinking that it's about your interest, and they have forgotten that if they have not had that education, the, level, the, 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 the education they have, if they have not had it, they will not be able to be where they are today. So the problem we are having is a problem of our leaders. Not harnessing the resources. Pull it together to make sure that education move forward. Look at the uh, National Education Summit Group in 2015. After the, the meeting and the workshop and the seminar, they communicate. They say that there is need for, for the economy of Nigeria to improve. There is need for government to invest heavily on education of teachers. Yeah. Aside from that, because the why will die is not there, those children that are out of school. They are just doing this thing because the majority of them don't have what to, to guide them on those things. And we have been saying this thing, if we continue like this, the process of the schooling, we come. We are saying out of school children. People, at, people will no longer, uh, the children will no longer have interest in going to school. I will tell you the reason. Why? Now, we have many unemployed graduates no job. They will go to school, they come out. You just see, they just write up. They, what is the sense of going to this school? We go to the school, we know, go on. We see some of our members who are artisans. They are making it in life. Then we are not interested in going okay, to school. So, so in, in order to curb, uh, reduce the number of out of school children, we see that private schools are becoming increasingly expensive. Which so, private? Uh, private private primary school. schools. Are becoming increasingly expensive. So, what is your? Is it the mushroom private or the the, the standard general, one? Generally, generally, um, you see a school calling some humongous amounts of money, and the child is learning close to nothing. What is your 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 uh, your association, your union, doing to address that? Because uh, that's why we could soon come to an end. Uh, you see, we we the because of the cheap labor, those people, those uh, private schools, because of the, the inefficiency on the part of the. Of the government. That's the reason why all those ones are coming up. No, but you are the bridge between the government and, and these people. Yeah. It is, that is why the government has, there is the union, Nigeria Union of Teachers. Government cannot handle everything. That is why it puts you to bridge. They, 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 are, they, are not, they are not, they don't put us. It's labor management relation. Mm. It's labor management relation. It is not the government that put the union there. 
Do you that know? is, you are the bridge. It, it, that it is, is what we are is, saying. It is ILO convention, which mm. uh, uh, which Nigeria is a signatory to. That what brings about the the the, the, the uh, unionization, organizational unionization. Those people in private school, they're supposed to be our members. But because of the selfish interest, because of the slave labor. Oh, so they are not they members of the NUT. They are not members of NUT. They're supposed to be because the Trade Union Act is very clear that all teachers in primary and post primary secondary school and other allied institutions with the exception of tertiary school are members of Nigeria Union of So teachers. why are they giving how are they giving licenses if they are not members of the NUT? License is not from the union. License from the regulatory body. Okay. Mm. We have some doctors that are not in public service. They have their own private uh, All right. uh, 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 institution that they, where they are working. We have some lawyers that are not working in public service. All right. They are standing on their own. But we are, the regulatory body is to check quack and remove quack from the system so that those, who are, those which is, which uh, private schools that very, we are talking about, they, 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 they will not be using cheap labor All right. All right. In the and, and be kill, uh, killing education. Are okay. they doing additional? Thank you for your time. Thank Until you. See breakfast.